Aries, welcome to your general reading for June 20th to the 26th. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. My name is Jordan. I am a Master Reiki practitioner and tarot reader, so let's get into it. If you want personal readings, Reiki sessions, certifications, or you want to check out Patreon where I do monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, it's all linked down below. So let's begin. Aries. June 20th to the 26th for Aries. Hurrying shapeshifter. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It feels, yeah, so to Nine of Pentacles, especially for an Aries reading, tells me that you're embodying your most authentic self. Because Aries, you are the sign of self, and this is the card of the com it's the comfortable self to me. Um, it's somebody who's finally feeling safe and comfortable and able to create their own stability in life. And it's not that you don't rely on other people or you don't feel safe to rely on other people, but you're starting to feel safe within who you are as an individual. Now, the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is investing in something. Could be a relationship. It could also be a project, right? But between it is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It didn't feel safe. It didn't feel secure to you. It didn't feel stable or reliable. And you're wondering, like, I'm investing in this over and over and over. And why can I not rely on it, right? Overall energy. Why could you not rely on yourself? Okay, you might have thought it was this person or it was this relationship. But part of it was actually mirroring back to you a feeling within self. And it was starting to bring about aspects of honoring only your masculine and not the feminine, right? Because the King of Pentacles energy, this is someone who's great at building. They're the perfect partner. They're really reliable. They're very loyal. They know how to invest in things and build things. But you might have a tendency of wanting to give up if they don't go the way that you expect. And with the Two of Wands there, it's almost like, okay, am I supposed to change direction? And the Nine minus the Two gives you the Seven, which tells me that your guard's up. And that's what brings us to the Queen of Pentacles energy that would mirror this king, right? The need to be in the feminine, because after the Nine of Pentacles, to me as a reader, is the Queen of Pentacles and then the Empress. This is the evolution of the Divine Feminine. This is the beginning of it. This is the first step. So that's why I'm talking about the feminine energy, even though it's not showing up yet. That's the first step to me as a reader. Nine, Queen of Pentacles, Empress. Um... You're learning how to nurture your projects instead of beating them to death with constant work or your relationships. Instead of giving and giving and giving, you're learning how to allow yourself to receive. Okay? You're releasing control. Let's see what's going on, Aries. You're learning to love your humanness. Let's look at the Nine of Pentacles in the overall. Yeah, Queen of Swords in reverse. So there's the feminine. And the Magician is divine masculine energy to me as a reader. Um, so the Magician, you feel very powerful. You feel very confident in yourself. But you, you may not be one to really want to express yourself or really how you feel all the time or exactly what you're thinking. You might not even be aware of how you show up in the world, which is very... Um, powerful and when i say powerful don't allow like the ego to take that around it just might mean that you might have a very intense energy about you and a very uh, ambitious energy about you and it's time to sit back and really analyze is that my true self or is that something that i've habitually acted from you're basically rebuilding who you are let's look at the seven and the six together i feel like for some of you this has to do with a romance to be honest yeah, Six of Wands in reverse, Eight of Wands. Okay, so <laughs> I heard hot and heavy. Eight of Wands to me is very fast uh, forward movement. And the Six of Wands to me tells me that there's a lack of recognition. Like I've been putting in all this energy, all this effort, and it's not going anywhere. What the actual F is going on? This isn't fair. And the Eight minus the Six gives you the Two, and right? And so that's you wondering, like, should I just stop investing in it? Okay, so there's your beginning, mirroring your ending because it's not playing out how you expect control, right? It's not supposed to go how you expect. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. I feel them coming up. 
seven of pentacles and five of pentacles wanting to abandon what you just invested in right seven of pentacles and then the five of pentacles tells me that you want to give up on it because the seven of pentacles is actually the card of failure you're perceiving this investment of your time your energy your effort your emotion whatever it was as a failure because you're not reaping uh your reward quite yet with that five of pentacles hermit and then the nine of pentacles and there you are wanting to ghost right wanting to run away wanting to go within to yourself like this isn't for me no thank you instead of just continuing continuing to do the work okay let's look at the nine of wands hierophant in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse so nine of wands in reverse on top of the nine of wands in reverse is validation for me as a reader that the channeled message is correct and then the hierophant is you throwing away the relationship or the project or the contract because it's not going how you want it to and you're not really just pausing and thinking about like hmm maybe i should release the expectation and just allow it to flow so let's look at this two of wands because you haven't really paused you just very go 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 I only take the ones that are uh, on top of stacks for me. So you had the Empress and the High Priestess, right? You want to know what your opportunity is to see that you're working from distorted feminine. The Clarity, High Priestess, distorted feminine, Empress in reverse, right? So that's your new path. It's not that you're supposed to give this up by any means. It's more so that you're supposed to look at how you're working mainly from a masculine energy. Um, and masculine is what we take action from and feminine is how we receive and feminine is very intuitive and it is very present It doesn't think about the future things about right now in this moment So right now in this moment, are you even presently watching this video or is your mind thinking about oh should I have done this? Should I have done that? Should I have gone here? Should I have go there? What do I have to do next? It's masculine um, not only is it masculine, but it's also distorted feminine because it's an excess of masculine and in turn you're denying your own feminine energy of being at peace with the present moment and allowing yourself to take in that this time is for you this time is for you to do what you want to do with these few minutes it's not to allow your brain to go crazy thinking about what's next okay let's see what your ending overall is yeah justice in reverse sorry justice upright libra energy which is the polarity to you your opposite right so aries and libra are opposites meaning that you're learning how to balance the self with other people or with external energies um so you're going through the balance of your masculine and your feminine but also how this uh, manifests in the material world in your relationships and your projects with your finances with your home with your physical body so very very interesting reading aries but this is what i have for you if you want a personal reading or a reiki session or you want to get certified as a reiki practitioner spiritual life coaching you want to join patreon for meditations energy work more readings um or just to be a supporter um go ahead check that out it's all down below in the description box and like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow i love you i wish you the best and i'll see you next time